In this video presentation, we'll be looking at 12D's version 9 CAD text and CAD symbols. The CAD text options now only have two options, create text or edit text. The both commands run on the same options but start up in different modes, one for creating and placing text, one for editing text. Once the command is running, the status bar or message box below will display the options available. We're in C for create text. There is also a V. This will change the text command into creating text on the vertex of a superstring. S will change the text command into creating text on the segment of a superstring. Both the options will place the text on the superstring and once the string is moved, the text will move with the string. As the status bar shows, we can swap between E for Edit and C for Create. We are in the Create mode and is asking us to pick a position. We are utilising the Text Toolbar and a Text Style and a Size has been set. Remember there are also Text Favourites. If we now select the position for our text and go Accept, the option to do multi-line text is available under your env.4d file. We'll say OK and it places our text. If we zoom in you'll notice the grip points. The top grip point will dynamically change the size of your text. The right hand grip point allows you to dynamically rotate your text. And the middle one is a move command. Notice the link back to the original point of your text. If we look at the message box below, there are also other commands available as hotkeys. We have C for colour. We have T for text. To be able to change the text, we have H for height. There's new, finish, M for more. More will take you to another list of options that you can change in the text. Offset, raise. So if I select raise, that will raise the text about the original insertion point. Again, angle, X for justification. So we can change it from middle to bottom. M to go back to the previous menu. If we zoom out, the option below now, there is a N for new. So if we go N, then it allows us to pick another position for new text. And again, go through the same options, allowing us to change the parameters or move and rotate the text. With the rotation commands, I can go center mouse button and the message box or status bar again displays options. Rotate and go P for perpendicular. We can go T for tangential again. The alignment string is going this way. As it's highlighted, you can go N on the keyboard and that will then rotate the text 180 degrees. Here we have a super string fence line. We now wish to place text on the segments or some of the segments along that string. With the text command, we now go S for segment. Select our super string segment. This is a timber fence. If we wish to raise our text, again raise. With these parameters set, we can now use the left and right arrow keys to step along the segments of our superstring. Any previous parameters for the text is maintained at the next segment, in this case the raise. T for text. Again use your left and right arrow keys to proceed to the next segment. T for text. Again you can use your arrow keys to step through to each segment text and change individual parameters such as colour. There is also V for vertex. Select the vertex of a superstring and type in the appropriate text. The previous parameters and text options for the segment is also available for the vertex text. 
the grip points moving and the arrow keys left and right. Symbols or CAD symbols operate in a similar manner. On our menu there is Edit Symbol and Create Symbol. If we select Create Symbol and look to our status bar or message box below, we have a similar menu as a CAD, CAD text. We have an Edit, Create and Vertex. As symbols are created or added, to points or vertexes, there is no segment option. Again, we're using our symbol CAD toolbar and have selected a sign symbol, select our point, and it drops in our symbol. All the same options are available. We can go see for color. Again, we can change the symbol, S the symbol, height, the size of the symbol. There's also the options for the grip points. Again, rotation. Keep the perpendicular to the curb line, and so forth. We can edit existing symbols. S for symbol. Again, using our left and right arrow keys will allow us to pan along to the next available vertex. Change the size of the symbol.